I moved here about two years ago, roughly, uh, from Chicago, and immediately I... Uh, oh, can you hear me? Uh, it's, I'm really, I've just been really uh, kind of taken aback by like, how amazing the community uh, is here. Uh, I feel like I'm in the perfect place to be, and this event has been really, really cool. So I'm honored to be here. Um, I am, at, at some point in my life, I've kind of done all of these things in no particular order. Uh, I started off at ad agencies in Chicago, um, got to be in a lot of really cool, uh, involved in a lot of really cool production. I uh, did a lot of action scripting, so uh, code is, is a tool in, 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 my, in my toolbox uh, for creating art, but you know, uh, I kind of like to dig into the analog as well. Um, and uh, I s sort of started picking up uh, live performance about a year or so ago. I uh, was introduced to like VJing software by some friends in the community here, and um, it's another thing I've been kind of focusing on. Uh, after I left Adland, I started a, a, a filmmaking collective called Scenic Studio, and we got our start by kind of just like doing music videos for Alpha Pup Records, Ghostly, uh, Mush Records, um, just like smaller independent music labels. Um, and uh, started to really like get in the habit of dissecting found objects, uh, found material. I love buying boxes of old 35 millimeter negatives on eBay, scanning them and just kind of like cutting them and pasting them and telling you know different stories. Um, so this video we did for um, Take uh, on Alpha Pup is like a good example of that. Um, kind of just uh, retold a story like this, this fictional narrative based on objects we found completely from scratch. Um, I also really like incorporating, you know, household objects like light bulbs into live performances, doing things in a club environment that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Um, I recently went on tour with Shigeto uh, on Ghostly um, across the United States, and that was a really interesting experience. I kind of brought this um, bare bulb installation, if you want to call it that. It was really just all duct taped light bulbs and a you know, DMX controller. Um, <laughs> and Quart Quartz Composer. Uh, I'm a creative coder too, guys. Uh, but I really, what I really like to do is shoot video and I like to incorporate that as much as possible into the live sets so um, I love working on generative visuals in Quartz Composer or Max or and you know any other processing all these environments but what I really like to do when it comes down to it is like lights and a camera in the studio and just like shoot content um, uh, and this is Hannah she's in the room somewhere here you might recognize her here here's more light bulbs Ooh, no audio. That's okay. Uh, this is a quote by Joseph Campbell. Uh, I am obsessed with mythology in storytelling, um, and I find it like mythology and classicism to be a recurring theme in, in, um, in everything I do. Uh, so black and white photography, I've been obsessed with uh, uh, black and white. Um, I find that the fact that that's like 13th Witness from New York, uh, you know, photo from a couple years ago, and that's Stanley Kubrick on the right. You know, you'd, you'd never know. Uh, there's, there's timeless. Um, I will skip through as many of my past projects. This is just some photography projects. I'm gonna try to get to the good thing that I'm supposed to be demoing right now, but I feel obligated to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I met this musician named Deru on this project, Outliers. And it was like a, a crowdfunded film we shot involving seven artists from various mediums getting together in a foreign place and producing improvised uh, documentary together. It was a document of the landscape and the experience we had with the culture there. Um, uh, we performed a live show, brought it to Poland, Sweden, a couple of cities in the States. This is Ben. I'm gonna try to get the audio working here. This is Ben's music. I like it. I think you like it too. 
his latest album was recorded to tape. Um, it's entirely ambient and really textural, and it kind of is evocative of, uh, when he first sent it to me, it sounded like uh, each song was kind of its own little time capsule, like just this thing that contained all these kind of memories. Um, and, it, and, you know, the analog hiss and noise and everything kind of provided this soul that, you know, I, it's really refreshing. I think record labels putting out cassettes is like kind of weird, but I understand the sentiment. It's like we, in the world we live in today, we kind of crave that, the sound of noise. Um, we called the project 1979, um, the year Ben was born. Uh, we wanted to create a modern day time capsule of sorts. Um, this project is all about the inherent spiritual nature of, of documented memories, um, the soul that you can literally observe when you see a photo. Even if you don't know the subject, um, you can kind of immediately make a connection with the moment in it just by context, and it doesn't even need to be a good photo. It's just we, these things resonate with us. Um, these are the Ardens. Ben discovered a box in 2003 at a yard sale containing old letters, photographs, films, and like all sorts of wild stuff that we don't know the origin of it. Um, but we, th in the same way I recontextualize all the old 35 millimeter footage in that take video, we set out on this journey to like find out who this guy is as much as possible. We brought on a writer and a mythologist to kind of like help us piece together everything we found in that box. And um, kind of recreated it for the public. And this is on 1979.LA right now. And um, uh, whatever it is, it's kind of an interesting collection of documents from a guy who used to be an academic, um, who was kind of like shunned by the community and uh, sort of tried to, you know, in this, he created this like new agey sort of physics philosophy uh, about energy and light and, and waves and, and, and that stuff. Uh, we, he had some like sketches in the box that we kind of like scanned and vectorized and actually evolved it to be, uh, there was nine original symbols and we kind of like gave them names and tried to iteratively create this like system of, of pure tones. Um, and so we kind of like took some of the excerpts and kind of like fetishized them a little bit. And on the website, we gave them a new life by kind of like, uh, if you go to 1979.LA, you can kind of interact with it. And there's, uh, you know, uh, video that kind of correlates to all the different pieces of the text. And uh, we try to bring the story uh, to life in that way. Um, these are some of Ben's personal photographs that he kind of like assembled in the process of putting the album together because the idea was to kind of resurrect, you know, past memories and, and documentations, uh, documentation of, of past lives and uh, kind of like connect the dots and like tell a new story. Um, so like we scanned the films that we found in the box and we kind of like started to make up our own, you know, like tr basically trying to figure out what this guy was all about. Um, these are LP designs. Uh, another thing that Ben, that we used in the process of making um, this project was uh, some footage Ben found in an old machine called a Pixel Vision, and it records video t to uh, audio cassette tapes. It's a pretty interesting old mechanism that made its way into the project. Um, this was the very first trailer we released. So we kind of wanted to like go back to just like the simple image, you know, like it's not often now that we just meditate on simple imagery that something that existed in the past that has all these sort of special moments. because I want to show you a couple more videos if I have time. Um, this is 1979.LA. This is the, the front page. Um, I encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, we created a, um, a user submitted 
gallery of other people's memories. We invited our fr artist friends to submit. So we got like a really good turnout. We kind of started off week one with some, some of Ben's uh, really talented artist friends like Amon Tobin. Um, and we just had really, we found uh, in the first week alone, we weren't sure what to expect. Um, and immediately what's most gratifying about this project so far is that we've had submissions that have been like really personal and intimate in ways that we never could have imagined. It's a pretty simple mechanism, you know, just upload a photo, share it, you know, I mean, th throwback Thursday, right? Every, every week you see this stuff, but, um, but we kind of wanted to po make a, a little bit more of a focused point about taking something that's so special to you that it like actually has an energy kind of baked into it just be by the nature of what it is and we're really su uh, surprised with what we found. Um, uh, one, one user actually submitted a photo of her aunt on her deathbed. I mean, this is like really personal stuff. So seeing this was really, you know, was really kind of special. Um, Finally, this is actually one of my favorites. Um, this is from a user who hadn't, who hadn't seen their brother since they were really young, and he spent a number of years in prison, and they kind of like lost touch, and it was just like, I, I just thought, um, it's up there in the gallery, you can read the, read the full thing, but um, I'm just to have people open up their hearts and actually like submit things like this again was very meaningful to us. Uh, it was a, a nice surprise. Um, so the the demo finally. This is the obverse uh, box. We haven't announced it yet. We're going to launch a site with the presale next um, Tuesday. But this is the really special centerpiece that I've been waiting to share with everybody. And um, this is a recreation, like sort of a totem. Um, inspired by the original box that Ben found, and it's a, it's a portable handheld Pico projector, a custom-built Pico projector. There will be 50 that exist, um, and there will be nine films, one for each song on the album. Um, so this is something that you can actually hold and take with you and, and you know, hit the button and have the experience wherever you are, and um, depending on what, what environment you're projecting it in, it, it completely changes the experience. Um, and this is it. We spent about a year um, kind of, you know, 3D modeling and building and engineering and like there was a lot of different versions of it and um, you know, figuring out what the contents of the box would be, you know, trying to kind of figure out how to sell, not sell it, but like make people understand like what it's all about at a fundamental level, because it's really kind of a confusing, ob it's really kind of a confusing object, I feel like. Um, so we're hoping people spend some time with the mythology on the website and kind of understand the concepts around it and, um, and kind of, uh, uh, we're hoping to like tour with it in the spring and, and kind of share it with, with people through, through video and, and photos. Because um, again, there's going to be a very small uh, run of them produced and uh, we care about it a lot, so we want to make sure as many people see it as possible. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to end this by showing, you know, if I have time, like two and a half minutes of a video. Is that... Cool.
because I'm cutting into Steve's time and my QA time is gone. So hit me up if afterwards if you have if you want to talk about the project. I'd love to chat about it. Cool.